Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you a big decision that I recently made, which is selling my 2007 Acura TSX. Almost two years of ownership and having put 28,000 miles later, it is time to say goodbye. And let me take you through my thought process and why I decided to part ways with this trusty ride. But first, I think I'm going to link this video to my for sale postings that I have on uh, OfferUp and AutoTrader. So let me give you a quick walk around of the car to show you stuff in detail for those of you that are here that came from those websites. Okay, let's do this walk around real quick because it's super hot out here. So I just want to be totally upfront with the condition of this car for those of you that are interested in buying it. Notice how there's normal curb rash in all of the wheels. Uh, there's a few things and I'll try to point them out to you. There's one here. Uh, let's keep looking. These scratches that you might have seen in other of my videos. This right here. There's like a superficial scratch right here. And then this dent is a little newer. So the body's straight, but you know, the paint is damaged. Minor curb rash right here. Door dings more door dings scratches just random scratches the clear coat is peeling off here on the roof more of that right here the mirrors they're faded you see that but because it's silver you can hardly see it and then like i said in my last video a detailer just ruined the paint here more scratches the other mirror and then this trim this repainting here the weather strips are there, so everything is in working order. The bumper, it's a little misaligned. I've taken it off once to replace these headlights, and fear not, these headlights were only replaced because I wanted to get these brand new Acura OEM headlights, but this car has never been involved in a collision or anything. But just know that there's some misalignment here. Uh, you know, little damage there from the license plate frame right here. And I'm just being like super critical of this car because that's how I am with my cars. At the same time, keep in mind that this is a 20 euro vehicle. What is this right here? I have never seen this one actually. Um, the interior, let's go over real quick. The seats, no ribs. There's this minor peeling right here. I could have painted it black, you could hardly see it, but I'm just being totally upfront with this. The carpet is clean I mean I still got a vacuum right so if you were to buy this I'll give it to you freshly vacuumed those mats are new I mean I've had them for what year and a half now um, the seats are not ripped same thing this minor thing right here it can only grow later right but other than that this car is in really really good shape everything works in the car and being up front with it there's a Bluetooth module right here that I disconnected because a common issue with this car or with this era of cars is that the uh, Bluetooth module starts draining the battery. And when I had issues with the car, I thought that it was the problem and it wasn't, but I left it disconnected because it's, it's an obsolete feature because you cannot listen to radio through Bluetooth. It's only for phone calls. Um, so it never bothered me. I never missed it. It's still disconnected. And let's go over the engine just to show you how clean it is. So as you can see, this engine is completely dry. No leaks, nothing. So just to give you a quick rundown, the alternator was replaced, the power steering was replaced, this hose is new, the rack and painting is new, the starter is new, I mean new within the last two years, and then this battery as well. It's from December of 2022. Uh, other than that, just notice how the engine is super dry. So that is a good thing. Oh, and let me show you that crack on the dash. If you're familiar with this era of TSXs, this is a very common issue. Uh, where is it? Right here. Super hair thin crack, common with these cars. Headliner, super clean as well. And everything is in working order as far as the power features and all of the uh, electronics and all that. Uh, the uh, heated seats still work. The power seats still work. Everything is in working order. The thread, let me show you the thread. 
really healthy thread of the tires still. Thank you for watching. Let's continue with this video. When I bought this car, it had 217,000 miles, but it was supposed to be a temporary car for me, but I ended up keeping it for almost two years. I know that I have a pattern of not keeping cars for long, but in this particular case, I never intended to keep this car for as long as I did. This is actually the first time that I've had a second vehicle. Obviously, my wife has her own car, but the TSX is mostly driven by me as well as the E30. So I'm down to three cars for two drivers. So when I got this car, I only intended to keep it for at least the time that it took uh, for my mechanic to bring me back my BMW. I figured it was going to be like a month or something. Then I will have to decide which one to keep. I really don't know how long I'm going to keep it because when the BMW is ready, I'm not going to have room for two cars in my life. The Acura won me over pretty fast and I ended up selling or Tesla Model Y at the time. But unfortunately, this car gave me a few issues right at the beginning of my ownership, which made me long for the comfort and convenience of a new car. And that's when we bought or 2024 Genesis GV70 and I ended up with three cars but only two spots to park. Unfortunately, by then I had fallen in love with this car already and I decided to keep it for longer. During this time, I've driven it an additional 28,000 miles, bringing the grand total to 245,000 miles. And despite the high mileage, this car has been incredibly reliable. It's taken me on countless trips, daily commutes, and everything in between without an issue. I paid $4,500 for it, and I easily dumped another $5,000 on it. And you can check further details about this process by watching this video right here. Let's go with what was needed. The smog verification, the registration, the tires, the starter, the power steering pump, and two oil changes. Those expenses run me at about $2,500. Now let's talk about what I spent just on personal taste, the floor maps, the tin removal, the lights, and stuff like that. That was about $1,625. So to be clear, that was money that I spent by choice, but the car would have been driving exactly the same without them. And now money spent for being dumb, a battery and an alternator. That was $395, almost $400. And I'm sure I'm forgetting something and um, I suspect that my math could be wrong, but at the end of the day, I spent almost $9,000 on this seemingly cheap luxury car. So why sell it? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, the timing. A couple of weeks ago, it wasn't even a thought. Actually, I just renewed my car wash membership for another year. And um, I, when I made my last video, I said that I was finally gonna get it painted. But when I got it smogged, I thought of the 90 days for which the smog certificate is good for and figure it will be a good time to explore selling it. Number two, the fact that I'm getting older and I want to experience other vintage cars from the maybe the late 90s and the early 2000s that I want to own. I have a list of those cars that I always liked, cars that are between five and $10,000. And lately I've been seeing good deals on certain cars and by selling this one, I can fund my next project easier. I can mention a few, for example, the uh, MR2 Spider. Uh, Lexus IS300 from the early 2000s. Those are hard to find in good shape for under $10,000, but even maybe a second generation Lexus GS300 or perhaps an E43, E46 M3 with a manual transmission and maybe closer to $20,000, a first generation Porsche Cayman. And number three, the resale value. Despite the high mileage, this TSX holds a good resale value. I know that you can find a TSX for a lot less than what I'm asking, but most of those examples have been beaten up pretty bad. And I understand that the high mileage may deter some people. I mean, it did deter me initially when I bought this one with 217,000 miles. I thought it was like at the end of its life cycle. But knowing what I've done to this car uh, to make sure that it that keeps continued, that continues to be reliable um, has turned out to be a great experience. And I know that it has plenty of life left in it for the next owner. But don't get me wrong, this decision wasn't easy. The TSX has been a fantastic car and I always have a soft spot for it. It's been with me through a lot. I've, I mean, it's never let me down. A TSX was also my first new car and revisiting that memory through this car has been an amazing experience. In the end, it was about making a practical decision for my current needs and future plans. I'm excited about what's next, but I'll always remember the good times with my TSX. Thank you for watching everybody and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know in the comments have you ever made a tough decision regarding a vehicle that you love yet you have to sell i'd love to hear from you let me know in the comments see you next time